Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Mechanic glove. I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chalamet City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? You came to hear the speech, right? Sure, thanks. your favorite African gamer and guys. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Is that still working on the robot's navigation system? Yeah, I noticed. Welcome to Atomic Heart. Wow, what a beautiful day. As always, I appreciate your continuous support and... I've been looking forward to What's this. What's up with your Vovas box, Andre? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Because this game like looks day. magnificent right now. Money. These houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. And I've been intrigued by it Give since the first code. day I found I'll out. Straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, well, it's Inception, uh, should I say? Zero, four, five, one. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! <laughs> no wonder they're gonna no wonder they're gonna oh, come after us. He did it. Oh, thanks a million. We Enjoy treat them like shit. Bro, that drone is flying around like crazy. I ain't even gonna lie. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechinov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechnov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Yeah, that's a little too many robots for my liking, guys. I'm not gonna lie. So you got to be exceptional to work here. Is You've been that... ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You is... dickhead. Is that because the people that are in here are not living here aren't exceptional? <laughs> yeah. This is amazing, though. I'm not even gonna lie. Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. I'm right. It's a little twitchy, twitchy. It's a little fast. I gotta adjust the sensitivity a bit. I can't even tell if we're running or not, but. Get connected. Oh, the fact that this water is just like a stalemate means it's gonna be dirty, dirty. I don't know who that is. Can we get the atom in the picture too? So much going on. I hope we get to go and explore that building. Alright, we can go this way. Assemble near the ground plate memorial for a tour. Learn about their history of facilities. 
Rabat. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, comrade major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China. I guess. Right Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. There goes that USSR setup. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. They're blocking my way. You fought in the war, comrade major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy oh, critters, man. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. A big ass capsule. A dirty ass capsule at that. <laughs> you have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Uh, scanner. Okay. That's kind of weird. Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future, but for now, Please continue with your mission. There's not. Oh. Now feels the sparkles out there, robot. Comrades. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Uh, 
As hello, Atia. Greetings, comrades. Telling you. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. Taking it easy, alone. Comrade Major. And the car finally, is waiting. We will be you must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. It's been labor, left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. On behalf of all at Facility 3820. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. You gotta admit, this is impressive. A network for all mankind. Where's the elevator? Oh, well, that's an office. Gotta be this. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and of course combining it with your own individual discovery. Oh shit. You <laughs> I was not expecting that. Yeah, Yo, you gotta admit, like that—that that is impressive. I can't tell if the this is the top of the elevator or that's really so high that yeah, that's gotta just be right. Yeah, it is. I'm losing it. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible via a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, you'll become the future. Uh... Comrade, as a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to control robots with your own mind and explore space. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Isn't that even till today? That Russian supersonic plane? Well, I guess we gotta go back. Uh, that was a little bit of a horrendous experience. Section didn't here. want us there. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. 
Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. I gotta say, and maybe it is, maybe I'll look it up and find out, but is it me or does our character sound like, uh, I don't know why I'm forgetting his name, from Cyberpunk, the main protagonist. God, what's his name? Uh, that's pretty cool. I, I, yeah, his voice is either the same as the main protagonist or the heck is going on. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. I don't need you to come and tell me that. The hell? Uh-oh. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, I just came from one in of them. every get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics, workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? That's more like it. What the hell? Are we in the sky? Bro, we're in the sky. The whole time I'm thinking we're on the ground. That's the capital, but God, Lee, look at that. I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Yeah, it is incredible. I always give props to those who can use their mind to construct something like this. Okay, so they're not far from the ground. There's a little bit of a strong fog going on there. Thirty-eight. 
SK-26's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemey Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by... Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, Petrovas initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate of the Rabbit Hospital facilities. Have the last day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now on. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! What the shit? Attention, this is an emergency communication.
Killing me. Well, that did not go as planned at all. In just that short time, really? Some serious system malfunction. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective's central hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him. Bring him to me, alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Sechenov out. Uh, how the heck do I dodge that robot? <laughs> yeah, this is so. This is too crazy. Should I hit the pig? No, piggy's been good. Piggy ain't doing nothing wrong. Okay, how do I run fast? <laughs> I am trying to figure out these controls. Holy shit! Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Well, uh... Help! Somebody help me! Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? It's a robot. Shit! Uh, get away from me! Bro, what? Oh, go fuck yourself! Get the fuck off me! What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, ma'am. No ma sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Bro, where's our axe? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? 
That's where I'm headed. Ah, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit, it's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your arse. 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! Goddamn clusterfuck. Well, this cannot have just happened. There's no way. Welcome to the Babylon complex, named after the. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. So... They couldn't just off the idiot, is pretty much what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's a little... Too excessive there. If you don't calm the hell down, just turn the handle and open the door. Yeah, this, this must have been going on for weeks, if not months. Oh, shit. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. This is not gonna go very well at all, I could already see. Yeah, no. I got one shot. All right. 
right safe areas okay so we just gotta find those things those are our safe areas all right so we took everything out of there saving data Machines rose from uh press O to dodge up. Okay. May I give you some advice? I'm kinda busy right now. Try to avoid the robots more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot. At this rate I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. Yeah. It wouldn't hurt to collect. All right. The resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. I don't have any ammo. Well, hold on. I right, got one round. Let's collect whatever we can out of this room. Of course. Oh, well, yeah, we did get that. Bro, I didn't kill. Yeah, I didn't kill everyone. All the soldiers were no match. <laughs> Uh, what is that? All right, so we took all that we can out of this room. Uh, nope. We thought we did, but I guess not. Ah, uh, did we? Yeah, we did. All right. Pretty sure we're probably gonna have to go down that way. Uh. see what's left over here anything I don't like that ominous sound at all uh, man's fingers feel hey weird. is that a pair is it working all pairs at facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off this allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the churches you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey. How'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Oh, really? That's interesting. I didn't even see that idiot creep up on me. Bro, I got sausages and shit over around here. You would think I would have one of those, like, being able to access weapons. Can I, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Employee. Uh, actually, I did see a shop thing, so.
All right. So like you're I... telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Hmm. Well, that's gonna suck. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Okay, where is that robot though? There it is. It's a little too much right now. Dang, these robots ain't no joke. All right. Which way do we gotta head now? We, I feel like we got to collect whatever we can. Golly. Which way do we go? Uh, okay, we came from that way, so... I'm scared as shit. I'm not even on my... But we got more components though. Oh boy. Hit! Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I going to do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. Not gonna lie, I'm so happy for this, uh, for this damn glove. Well, this damn, uh, hammer. Or axe, should I say? Axe, axe. No gun. No gun yet. Ah. Uh... Okay. All right, let's do this. 
something's wrong. Oh, shit! Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps, 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 forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Like, okay, so we got three more shotgun shells. All right. That works out. So I can get them with the shotgun. That's good to know. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. Oh, crap. <laughs> ah, I I'm so messing up. All right, let's try that again. Got it. That's actually pretty cool. I'm not even gonna lie. It works. <laughs> uh uh. A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles. What's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Thanks. Saving data. 
Uh... What the fuck? Fuck me! Oh, what a stun! I can't get enough of you, Jocks. Let me tie you to the bed, baby. No need to fight back, sugar. Oh, you're gonna love this. Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open the suggestions! Bring me to her sensor manipulator, quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer! I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Uh, what? You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? No. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you but want. But I can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out, then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. <laughs> uh, this lady's a psycho? Jesus Christ. Thank you guys for joining your favorite African gamer and I will see you guys on another day of Atomic Hearts.